XRP and XLM. Well, they seem to be a pair that don't want to let go of each other. And is this a gigantic opportunity for people to make a significant amount of money? Now, although they share similarities, they are also very different. There is an absolute correlation between the two. And we're going to take a look at it in this video and whether xrp and xlm are the right things for you to be purchasing right now so if that's something you like the sound of be sure to subscribe to the channel where we talk about cryptocurrency and everything else every single day and also leave a like on this video make sure everybody in the world can see what's going on with this and let's dive into it so looking at the two we've got in question xrp the sixth highest ranked cryptocurrency currently in a battle with the sec doing really well this week up 17.3 percent on the week and stellar lumens up seven percent now in the last 24 hours both have moved really nice and you can see here just on the last seven day trend they both are pretty much mirroring each other like i said at the very start they do uh, although they are they share the similarities they have differences too ripple was designed for a profit network to conduct currency transfer stellar lumens on the other hand providing payment services works under the stellar development foundation a not-for-profit organization and ultimately stellar aims to work with individuals to provide them with financial support products and services and fight poverty so really interesting but these two do seem to be very much linked and very much intertwined now we can see the xrp is moving pretty strongly in fairness as we get nearer and nearer to the announcement from the sec do we move with xrp or not and i think that's the big question on everyone's mind but in both instances we are actually seeing some pretty solid price movement up nearly four percent on xrp at 26.7 billion dollar market cap and equally our volume just marginally down four percent but we are seeing some coins move but 1.7 billion on the market uh, excuse me on the volume likewise when we look at stellar lumens we are seeing a similar story three percent up in terms of price market market cap up again 3.2 billion and our volume slightly down now when we look at the charts and here's where it gets kind of really interesting we're looking at xrp right now we obviously saw this nice big breakout we're on the 30 minute chart but you can see stellar lumens does look very very similar and i think this is where people kind of view the same thing they do have very similar ambitions albeit they are very different projects now again it says a little bit more information on it what is ripple well ripple is the first introduced blockchain sphere in 2013 it had an insane ride in 2017 like three uh, 33,000 percent craziness uh, it happened through the sale of formerly known ripple pay where it came in the hands of jed mccaleb now you will see that name under stellar lumens as well arthur brito and david schwartz in 2012 they shifted it towards more of an open ledger for financial institutions like we said ripple is for the banks stellar lumens is for the retail investor but jed Michaela is the founder of both tokens or coins. I think it's really interesting. Uh, Ripple is used a payment network. Individuals and businesses both use it. For example, banks and financial institutions adopted Ripple to quickly settle cross-border payments because Ripple can settle payments in real time. It has the potential to disrupt the entire banking system, hence why it's currently in a case to see whether it is a security or not. Contrary to that, what is Stellar Lumens? Well, Jed McCaleb, the same guy, created Stellar in 2014. Funny enough, he also helped create Ripple. Now, the Stellar Department Foundation runs Stellar as a non-profit organization. Stellar Lumens is a network's native currency. Stellar goal is to make it easier for people to send money globally, similar to Ripple. So we got Ripple using it for banks and Stellar uses it for people. So none of this kind of wiring money to different parts of the world. And I think this ultimately embodies everything that is good about cryptocurrency. It says, people who want to send or receive money quickly and cheaply would use Stellar because Stellar is an open network. Developers can build financial products on top of it, such as mobile wallets, payment processing applications, and lending platforms. Now the big bit, Ripple versus Stellar, what are the key differences? And equally, what are you going to make the most amount of money on? So it says the debate of Ripple versus Stellar is one of two different blockchains. Ripple is a network that enables fast, low-cost international payments, while Stellar is an open network that allows anyone to build financial products on it. As noted before, both blockchains have their own cryptocurrency xrp and xlm which are used to pay transaction fees and reward users who verify transactions 
And it says here, as a summary, XRP is Ripple's native currency. It's used to pay transaction fees and reward users who verify transactions. Stellar also has its own cryptocurrency, XLM, which is used to pay transaction fees and reward users who verify transactions. Now, you might be thinking, well, what is all that about? We know that Ripple currently are in this court case. We know that Stellar uh, XLM is also linked quite heavily by the same founder in Ripple. So the two things, albeit very similar, support two different aspects of the financial conundrum where cryptocurrency can or do a big thing in the world. Now, here's the thing. If we see XRP war and win this court case, I will pretty much be sure we're going to see a big move in XLM. And I think it could be a real opportunity to get in into some of these still while we have an opportunity while it's cheap. If you think XLM currently sits at 12 cents is a pretty cheap buy. Again, we know Ripple, again, is a cheap buy. So you're going to get a lot of coins and tokens for your money. But the two things are absolutely linked. We've seen big moves in XRP. We will see big moves in XLM. And I, for one, certainly will be loading up on both of these. If you watch my live streams, you know that we've already got our bag of XRP and XLM is certainly on the shopping list. The two things, hand in hand, for me, go together. And I think it's going to be really exciting to watch what happens with those two. So let me know in the comments down below. Do you own XRP or do you own LXLM? Are you one of those people like me? that are going to hold both. And let me know what you think of that in the comments. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Turn the notification bell on, leave a like on this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.